Crown Jewel. We'll get to War Games. Crown Jewel. One o'clock start time on Saturday. Decent card. Crowd sucked. Crowd was awful. I'm going to, yeah, I mean, we, we, uh, I mean, you really got into it there, huh? Yeah. (laughs) Usually you ask me what I liked about the PLA, Tom. Um, yeah, dude, like just was way off. It was weird for, for an event, uh, like they get this like every once in a while, right? Like, I mean, it's once a year. And you'd figure that the crowd would be geeked up, ready to go, like fired up. And they were for certain matches. But, like, in my opinion, I felt like the wrestling throughout the entire PLE was really good. And it didn't get the justice that it deserved. Um, It just felt flat. Uh and I don't know where maybe it was the building of the matches, but or maybe I mean they've had pay per views in this same arena before, um, and we've never felt like a reaction like this before. And as hot as the WWE has been, it's just it's it's a strange type of uh, aura that surrounded the PLA. Um, and it sucked because there was a lot of matches that kind of fell by the wayside just because the crowd has so much to do with what these wrestlers um accomplish in the ring, right? Like they feed off the crowd and the and the crowd really has a lot to do with you know how how these matches kind of play out and um and how invested yeah, the, the TV audience gets and, uh, it just, it just wasn't there for me at least. Yeah. Um, something that we both noticed right away. Yeah. And like you said, it, it, it seemed just, just flat. And if we learned anything from like the COVID area, uh, of professional wrestling or in sports, it's like how important the fans are to an event and, particularly professional wrestling the fans can make a show there's been shows that we you know the one that pops in my head right away was backlash and how that crowd being so hot in puerto rico was just like it made the show incredible you know we weren't really thinking it was going to be this great show and the crowd just made it i mean when you think about the old ecw arena the fans and the crowd just makes the show and when they're flat like that it just it it sucks because, like you said, they were putting on a good show. There was some good matches, and it wasn't getting necessarily the love that you'd like to see from the fans. And I don't know if that's a cultural thing. I feel like when I watch Japan, um, like New Japan or something like that, it's they're a little bit more subdued. They're not like out there hooting and hollering and screaming and going crazy. Like when something happens, it'll be like an ooh and an ah, but it won't be like the fans kind of take over and they're chanting but that, you get from an American or a European crowd or, you know, Puerto Rico or wherever. Yeah. Let me interject here, Tom, and just say like, and that's, that's kind of strange for uh, like, once you get outside, cause like, look, the American audience, right. Um, they have a tendency to go through lulls, right? Like these lulls, yes. like in any sporting event, right. Where, they get high, they get low, right? And there's a crescendo usually, and they get hot for certain wrestlers, they don't for others. Um, and it's the same way with sports, really. Um, and like when once you go outside of the United States, right, you get into these other sports, like you see soccer, or as they say, football in different countries, like European countries, dude. The crowd is nonstop chanting throughout the entire like sporting event same like with cricket in different countries too same way right um and even in like japan like with baseball baseball is nuts dude like you right. watch baseball there's a constant ambiance like throughout the entire game and it just doesn't stop and um we just didn't get it from saudi arabia and we're not sure why that is but it it really kind of had a little bit of an impact on how i think the ultimate viewer um experienced crown jewel 
I agree. And another another place I want to shout out, and they always seem to have a hot crowd, is in Canada. Canada always seems to be up for all the uh, professional wrestling. I think of, you know, the Elimination Chamber last year in front of uh, Sami Zayn's home crowd. Just yep. it was electric, too. So, you know, th- it's, a, it's a shame that it didn't seem to have that. Sometimes when there's an outdoor setting, it seems like that. But this wasn't an outdoor. At first, it's, I think we were asking that. We're like, is this outdoors that the sound kind of goes out, you know? And it, it didn't appear to be. I didn't, like, research the, the actual venue, but. It looked like an enclosed. No, it was a, it was an arena. It was an enclosed arena. It yeah. just didn't. It just didn't have it. it. I mean, for certain matches, 